Well, right now, Franklin County deputies are trying to figure out who's responsible for vandalizing several cars, buildings, even a school on the city's west side. But as ABC6 reporter Maria Durant shows us, the vandals couldn't keep one shop from opening its doors. On the inside, it's business as usual. Ada Fajardo and her family own Galapagos Restaurant. The small Caribbean-style cantina has been on the west side for the last nine years. The family says this is the first time they've had trouble. It's a family business, and we just didn't, never thought we would see this, and just never thought somebody would do this to us. Vandals spray-painted the outside of their building, and to clean it up will cost the family money they don't have. But the restaurant wasn't the only target of the vandals. When school officials here at Stiles arrived Friday morning, this is what they found on the construction of their new school building. Graffiti, some of it the school was already able to clean up before we arrived this afternoon. Franklin County detectives tell us the vandals hit several cars along Lombard and more buildings, spray painting words too offensive for us to show. Now authorities are looking for who's responsible, and Ada and her family hope they're caught before it happens again. Really disrespectful, and it's just shouldn't, I don't know what people are thinking. In Western Franklin County, I'm Maria Durant, ABC 6 News.